foremost, there will be a new morning service time uh, that will go into effect next week. So we usually start at 10 o'clock on Sundays, um, but service will start at 10.30 next week. So make a change, put a note down, whatever you got to do. Um, and I will, I think we joked in the back we need to make another announcement at the very end of the service to remind everyone again. So 10.30 next week. A um, couple other things. Um, uh, the youth will be uh, starting back up this next week, 6.30 in the youth room uh, on January 5th. And then men's Bible study will also start back up on the 8th. That's 9.30 um, in the cafe, which is this room right here. So um, uh, if you're new as well, the restrooms are not in this building. If you need to use the restroom, you can go through these doors into the next building and then turn left, you'll see the restrooms in the education building there. Um, and then lastly, I wanted to announce that um, right below us, we have a closed closet. I think a lot of our uh, members know this and the community knows this, but um, if you are free on a Saturday and want to uh, consider serving, um, in your bulletin, there's a QR code right there, and you can scan that and sign up to, to reserve a spot to help. Uh, serve in that way. I know that they would really appreciate that, and it's a great way, I think, for us to, like I said, love the community. So uh, with that, um, welcome, and I think we're going to get started here. Call to worship. Here's Jonathan. Uh, call to worship this morning is from Romans 10, 5 through 13, and it says, for Moses writes about the righteousness that is based on the law, that the person who does the commandments shall live by them. But the righteousness based on faith says, Do not say in your heart, Who will ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down, or who will descend into the abyss, that is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart, that is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For the scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. 